Hello class, my name is Thompson. I'm a trainer at Rubavu Technical Corporate and today we are going to learn together the module which is called Basic Electrical Circuit Installation. In today's topic, we are going to see how to install one gang one way switch. At the end of this session, each trainer will be able to select and arrange different tools, materials and equipment required while doing installation of electrical circuit. He, she will be able to install one gang one way switch. As we are learning together, I invite you to take some notes and do a practical exercise with me as we are learning together. Firstly, you may ask yourself, what is electricity? Electricity is the flow of electrical power or charge. It is a secondary energy sources which mean that we get it from the conversion of other sources energy like coal, natural gas, oil, nuclear power, and other natural sources which are called primary sources. In summary, is the flow of electrons through conductor such as copper wire. There are two kinds of current electricity which is direct current and alternative current. A direct current or DC is the flow of electrical charge in one direction. For example, the battery, cells, and so on. Alternative current, or AC, is the flow of electrical charge that periodically reverse directions. For example, AC generators, alternators, national grid, and so on. When we are going to do an electrical circuit installation, firstly, we have to select tools, materials, and equipment required to accomplish the task to, to do an electrical circuit installation. Those tools, as you can see, as a professional technician, what you have to do firstly, you have to select PPE, which are personal protective equipment made to protect you against any hazard while you are doing electrical circuit installation, such as gloves, helmet, overall, safety shoes, and so on. After that, you select tools, materials, and equipment required for installation, such as pliers, screwdrivers, hammer, multimeter, cramp meter, wire or cable, pipe, switch, socket outlet, junction box, circuit breaker, fuse, ramp, lamp holder, and finally, distribution box. As we finish to select tools, materials, and equipment required for electrical circuit installation, now we are going to do one gang, one way switch. As you can see, we bring our junction box, which will help us while we are connecting or while we are doing this installation of electrical circuit. As I told you, remember that is one gang, one way switch. And I bring the fuse, as you can see, I fix it at, I fix it and then by the use of a drilling machine, I'm fixing this junction box. And after that, we have to bring the pipe and we have to measure the length of each pipe in which we help us to conduct or to conduct our wires, which are useful while we are doing this kind of installation. You do it slowly and carefully in order you don't break or damage any other component. As you can see, that one, it helps us to join together two pipes in order to reach the location which is required. And then after that, you bring wires or cables which are useful to conduct electrical current. As you can see, the red one is for the neutral. You connect it directly. 
that's bull wire it stands for fast conductor which is connected to one way switch terminal to a switchable through the fuse of 6 to 10 amps the neutral is connected directly to the ramp when the switch is crossed the conductor is switched on As you can see, you keep wire finished to, to put on the wire to, to the pipes. As I told you, the red one stands for neutral and the blue one stands for fuzz, which is the feeder of this circuit. As we are learning together, I hope you are doing a practical exercise with me. As you can see, I put on the cable from from the switch to the ramp directory and that red cable is the neutral as I told you and after that I'm measuring the cable which is going through the outlet socket as I told you we are installing one gain one way switch and we add one outlet socket as always it's two cable the blue one which stand for fast and then the red one which stand for neutral goes through the outrace socket while you are fixing them you do it slowly and carefully as always keep doing practical exercise with me as we were running together as you can see do it slowly and carefully while you are measuring the length of each cable either the first one or the neutral and while you are connect them to the pipes in order to conduct electrical current professionally. So, as a professional technician, I remind you to do it accordingly. And this switch is mainly used when you want to light on one light by the use of one switch. And as you can see, by the use of stripping cutter, we are going to strip or to cut where this cable to be connected to the circuit breaker. And after that, by the use of the hammer, I fix all pipes by the use of hammer and pipe ties in order to be fixed well. As you can see, you do it slowly and carefully. And after that, you fix the red cable which is the neutral. And you bring the cutting prior in order to connect our cable. The neutral to the neutral, I mean the red one to the red one, and the face or the blue one to the blue one as you can see at your own screen as always you do it slowly and carefully as you can see we are connecting together blue cables which stand for the phase which is the feed of this wall circuit and by the help of universal prayer and after that, as you can see, in our junction box, our blue cable are already connected. And after that, we are going to connect the red one, which stands for the neutral. The one came from the, the fuse, and the one came from the outlet socket, and the one from the switch. As you can see, I'm connecting the neutral cable by the use of universal pliers. And after that, by the use of isolated tape, I isolated each junction in order to avoid short circuits in our circuit. And after that, as you can see, by the use of cramp meter or digital multimeter, we are going to measuring the continuity 
of each area. For example, the neutral cable to the ramp, the neutral cable from the fuse to the junction box. Each connection you have to measure in the continuity testing in order to make sure that the connection or the junction you made are well done. And after that, you bring the switch. It's time to connect it through the circuit. As you can see, the main part of our switch. As you can see, we are connecting the neutral and the phase to the switch of the circuit. As you can see, it's already connected. And after that, we mount it to this box. As when we finished to connect this switch or this gang, we went to the outlet terminal. Now, as you can see, those are the ways which has to be used when we connect the outlet socket. As you can see, we are connecting our outlet socket and we mount it again. When we finish, we bring the lamp holder and we connect the cable into the ramp holder in order to be fixed where. As we finish to connect the ramp holder, what we do, we are going to close our distribution box. And then we also close our junction box as we are learning together. I hope to keep doing practical exercises with me. And after that, we go to the power supply and you connect it. We open our circuit breaker. When you open the switch, the lamp is off. And when you close the switch, the lamp is illuminated or is on. Thank you for your attention. This is the end of our session of today. In our next session, we will see how to install two-way switching circuit. As we're running together, I hope you took some notes and you keep doing a practical exercise. See you next time. Enjoy.